Okay, you've completed your training courses, boot camps, and um, your learnings from other sources. And in the process, you have created very wonderful portfolio projects. You've also updated your CV and your LinkedIn profile accordingly. And you've been applying for jobs, then a recruiter invites you for an interview. Well done, that's very good. However, if you're coming from a non-technical background um, for your interview in a technical role, you can um, initially feel daunted. It might be very intimidating and you might ask yourself, how do I set myself um, above the competition, especially the competition of other candidates who might already have a technical background? And what else can I do when answering my questions to make myself more attractive to this recruiter? In this video, I'll be giving you some hints and tips that I hope you will find helpful. Welcome to the channel. If you have subscribed already, thank you so much for joining us once again. Please like this video, comment and share it. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe, like the video, leave a comment and share it as well. So the first thing um, to be aware of is three things in your interview. First, the first thing is being positive. Second thing is being confident. And the third is being happy. If you are positive about the role, if you believe that just after this interview, you will get the role, it will also show in the way you give your answers. Your interviewer will be more trusting of you and your answers will also come with more confidence you will seem more capable for the job now being confident if you are not confident or if you easily get intimidated maybe by the interviewer or if it's a group interview you get into intimidated by the profile of others it will affect the way your answers come off you might stammer you might forget some things you want to say and you might end up selling yourself short so the interviewer will not be very con might not be very convinced that you are even a good fit for the role. However, bear in mind that if you were not a good enough fit for the role, you would not have been invited to the interview in the first place. The interviewer would not want to waste their time. So bearing that in mind, stay confident, stay positive, and finally, be happy. Everyone likes to, every interviewer likes to have a conversation with a happy candidate. Now, if you smile during your interview, and where necessary you nod in approval if your interviewer says something like not something you should verbally reply to but you're saying something you show some engagement while smiling being happy being a good person to talk with your interviewer is more likely to um, trust your team working abilities your, your interviewer will trust you to be good with the team and that's a plus during your interview overall it also helps um, bring down the nerves in your interview. You might not feel so nervous either if you stay happy. Now, I will, in this video, I will tell you um, three, I will mention three questions and I will give you hints on how to answer these three questions. For each question, I will give you three things that you can add to your answers. I will not give specific answers and I'll make sure the questions are generic enough to be in as many interviews as possible. That so that so this video can be helpful to um, anyone who watches it however if you like it and if you like this video and you'd like me to prepare a case um, a case by case basis maybe a video where I'll have a case study of this job and this candidate how this candidate will reply to this kind of job or this kind of company if you really want something more detailed then comment in the um, comment section below and I'll prepare another one like that for you so the three questions are tell us about yourself what are your three strengths or what are your strengths why should we hire you um, now for the question tell us about yourself there are many ways you can answer this question that will make it still a valid that will still be a valid answer however in your answer um, for a tech role i'll advise you to include your passion for the field also, if you've had any experience with ICT or if you're lucky enough to have had an experience that relates to the role, mention it when talking about yourself. 
and finally mention your learning process as well mention what you've learned project you've completed in your answer so for example if i want to talk about um if i want to talk about my passion and let's say i studied agroeconomics in reality that's not what i studied but my answer will be something like this um, i had a bachelor's degree in agroeconomics um, during my final year project I used the SPSS data analytics tool to analyze data uh, from my research and I was very fascinated and interested in data because using this project helped me accomplish this and that you know mention mention um, make your say your story <laughs> narrate your story mention cases or situations that are unique to you in that answer and mention how you are fascinated and interested in it then I could also go ahead to proceed and say after after that because of my enthusiasm for data data analytics I then progressed to take this course by Google or that course you mentioned the course and in the process I created a mentioned a project you've worked on or I did this for this data mention it talk about it you've talked about your learning you've talked about a case where you've used uh, where you've had experience, related experience to the role or to the field, and you've also talked about your enthusiasm for it. Now, your answer should not just be as short as this example I gave, but inculcate this kind of and this example, something like this, in your answer, and your interviewer will find you to be someone who seems more fit for the role, who has some history of working in something related. And your interviewer will not just find you as someone who, oh yes, okay, we've met you, your name is Hansel, oh that's fine, okay, everyone else has a name, so you understand what I mean? Yes. <laughs> okay, so now for the second question, your strengths. Now you can have several strengths that are still very perfect and fine. I am not going to say they are not, but there are three strengths, three common strengths that if you're already wondering what you can add as your strength or what you can mention as your strength, if you are in doubt and you feel you have no strength, there are three that you can mention that I think will apply to you. And if they don't, you can work on them before the interview. So the first one is you are a fast learner. Switching from a non-tech um, uh, background into tech, having completed a course, done portfolio project, and being attractive enough for an interviewer to invite you, for, an in for a recruiter to invite you for an interview, show that you are a fast learner you can talk about this and give an example of your project your learning experience and your switch into tech second your communication now if you've gotten to this point you must have in some life experience or the other had to communicate with others speaking and listening in fact to complete your courses you've had to do some listening as well because I think your courses must have had exams and the project you've worked on might have had requirements. So when you talk about your communication, talk about not, not only about how good you are um, in speaking, but also talk about how well you listen and how you are able to um, understand complex instructions and carry them out in a project to, um, satisfac to the satisfaction of the stakeholders. Now the third strength you have is being a team player and a team builder. In a previous video on this channel, it was said that whilst preparing yourself to be job ready, wherever you have the opportunity, work with a group of people, with a group of other learners or people who are more experienced to do some projects or um, just learn some concepts and just try and work in a team. Now, if you have such experience already where you work in a team regarding your learning or other work experiences mention it that you're a good team player and this is an example of where you worked in such a team now a team builder is someone who's able to network connect with the right kind of people um, get together with these people and achieve something so mention that as a strength of yours as well that you can easily find the right kind of the right people with the right skills for a certain role or task and you can work together with them cohesively to achieve a common goal. Now, the final question, why should we hire you? Um, I will recommend you do some research before your interview regarding this question. Now, the research is first, the role. 
read the job description, be very familiar with the requirements in the job description, the requirements for the role and the qualifications. Now, also be very familiar with the company goals, what this company wants, what they value, what are their mission and all that. And also be very, very, um, do your best to be familiar with the soft skills that are not mentioned, maybe not mentioned in the job description, but soft skills that are good for this role. Now, armed with such research, in your answer, give one of the and one of the reasons you should give should be relating to your role. Mention things, um, skills you have that make you a good fit for the role. Whilst mentioning those skills you have, mention best practices that you can bring into the team that will make the team better when they have you doing those skills in that role. Also, being a fast learner who has switched into tech, mention that you'll be good to have in the team because you are assimilate complex concepts quickly. You are very teachable and you learn things fast. So you'll be able to bring knowledge to the team and you'll be able to um, upgrade yourself for the betterment of the team. Then look out for the soft skills. This depend on the role and mention the soft skills you are confident you have or you have demonstrated. Mention them and say with these skills, you will move the team forward. You'll be a very good addition to the team. You'll be a very good addition to the company. Then also based on the company's um, policies, if the company that's also much about sustainability, mention, about, talk about your um, passion for sustainability, talk about why you think um, sustainable living is good and how you will um, how you think this company's goals align aligns with yours if it's about if it's a company that's about um, customer um, customer satisfaction give examples where you've had to you know ensure that customers are satisfied talk about how you can do that within your role as well so these are the three these are um, three of many other reasons but three reasons that if you mention will make you more memorable to the recruiter and um, if you like this video thank you so much um, if you haven't already please like it and comment if you'd like me to make another one where i'll go in detail case by case study basis or cover different questions please state that in the comment below as well Thank you so much. It's been wonderful sharing these with you. And you can connect with me on LinkedIn if you want. My LinkedIn, um, my LinkedIn link is just below in the comment. Thank you and have a wonderful day.